I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have been kind of holding off on doing this video. I actually got an email from AMD a while back about this feature, and I noticed that nobody else was talking about it. And honestly, I personally was holding back because I just really, really wanted to test it out thoroughly before I actually talk to you guys and tell you my thoughts on it. And to be completely honest, I'm glad I did because after I got the Razer Jungle Cats in hand, it made it a lot easier to test this stuff out. Today, we're talking about a little feature that AMD added more recently called AMD Link and how it's the most powerful tool that you've never used. So what makes AMD Link different than Steam Link and why should you even care? Well, unlike Steam Link, it is not platform dependent, which means you can play games from anywhere. And you can also th play things that aren't exactly games. You just have to add them in the Radeon software on your PC and just say, hey, I want to, I don't know, put Photoshop or Blender in there. That is exciting all on its own, but it has a feature that is just mind blowing and amazing. This feature right here allows you to actually view your metrics, your frame rates, everything. You can capture frame rates, see GPU utilization, CPU utilization, all of that from a separate screen and it takes up no processing at all. It's all information that the AMD software is already reporting, but it can send it right to your phone. This is honestly amazing. I honestly had no idea how cool this was until I started using it. Because now I can just at a glance make sure my system's running the way it's supposed to. And you can see things like VRM utilization, RAM utilization, CPU utilization, and it just, it just works. And it even plots everything out into a nice convenient graph, much like the actual software does on the PC. Not only that, but streaming wise, it actually seems to be a bit more robust than Steam. We actually went ahead and tested with a lot of different peripherals. And uh, yeah, let's just say it, it got interesting. So I'm just gonna hand it off to me. Getting started with AMD Link is actually pretty straightforward. All you need is the appropriate driver package, which is pretty much any one that's been released in the last few months, a smartphone, a controller to play with and if you really want to you can actually get something to put it onto a big screen of course if we're going to go that mile we might as well get a mouse that connects via bluetooth a keyboard that connects via bluetooth and we probably uh, should grab a screen because uh this is going to get interesting very quickly all you need to do is download the AMD Link app from the appropriate store. So, boom, AMD Link. Pretty straightforward stuff. And yeah, you just, you know, install it like normal. You open up the app, looks like this, and it asks you to connect to your desktop, which uh, we'll connect right on to. And then it will actually show you all of the games that you have access to. Here it actually shows even Unreal Engine that we have access to. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what it's got access to. We've got Borderlands 1, 2, and 3, Devil May Cry 5, Final Fantasy, Fallout 4, Grid Autosport, Monster Hunter World, Muse Dash, Overwatch, PC Building Simulator, Shantae, Spyro, Throwville, Unigen benchmark is on here. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. So essentially, it just grabs onto anything that it can. And that's going to take over from my PC to here. In fact, actually, I can see uh, a cursor over here. And you can see a little firefly. I'm seeing a green screen, though. All right, I figured it out. Wallpaper engine was uh, interfering with AMD Link. So uh, first bit of troubleshooting right there. Don't use wallpaper engine and AMD Link at the same time. 
So let's go ahead and connect back in. Go back to Spyro, launch it, and we should, there we go, have a view of the desktop. Yes, so yeah, uh, unfortunately, uh, don't have Wallpaper Engine running. But as you can see, that's pretty accurate to the sounds playing out of the PC over there. But there's a problem. It's not playing on here. It's not coming from here, it's coming from there. So to fix that, it is playing through here. So all we had to do was switch on the host PC to play through HDMI. And now look at that. We'll go ahead. We'll go into Ripto's Rage just because I've already beaten it. And, uh, There it is. That is Spyro Reignited Trilogy streaming right to my phone. Now, this isn't something that we haven't seen before. This is exactly the way that Steam Link works. But I'm gonna say this right now, I'm doing this over Wi-Fi and I have never been able to get Steam Link to work this well over Wi-Fi. Like paying attention to the camera, that's a problem. So, pretty cool stuff right there, but it gets better. Watch this. So, we're gonna quit game. And then this isn't going to stop streaming. We're now on my desktop, which means we can go over here to say, oh, I don't know, Blender. Blender's opening up and look, there's Blender in all its glory. And this is truly what excites me about this is because we don't have to just use this for gaming. We've got keyboard, we've got mouse. Nothing is stopping us from, uh, except for maybe like resolution differences here, but uh, nothing is really stopping us from going to uh, Mirror Pro. <laughs> Look at this. We are opening up a Premiere profile off my smartphone. Ah, oh, this is so, uh, it works too. Like there's, there's almost no delay. Are you guys not impressed? Cause I am impressed. This is awesome. And you know what? I bet you we can take this a step further, but uh, let's try. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. Let's uh, really quickly, let's, uh, can we zoom? No, we cannot. Select the paintbrush. Can I get the paintbrush? I can get the mouse to the paintbrush. All right, ready? Oh, this is like, <laughs> I don't know if you know, this, this may seem so dumb, but like, oh my God, for creative applications, this is so great. Of course, you know, if you were using a proper 1080p monitor or even a 1440p monitor, we wouldn't be running into these issues. This is just the 720p monitor, which is why we have these problems. But this is insane. There is no other piece of software for free that I know about that lets you do this. You are not connecting to any external servers. You're not doing anything that like would possibly hinder your access or open you up to any vulnerabilities. You're literally able to do your work from your PC to your smartphone with just a couple of Bluetooth connections, a dongle, 
and a screen, and it is awesome. Okay, guys, uh, back to this point of time, and ah, uh, the ah, uh, like this is nuts. This is the coolest piece of software I've ever downloaded on my phone. And it's something that nobody is talking about. It's just awesome. Like the ability to stream to your phone is cool enough and it works fairly well. Uh, we do get random artifacts every so often, but the fact that you can use a keyboard and mouse by connecting them via Bluetooth is kind of nice and it works very well. The sync isn't too bad and the latency isn't in the realm of unplayable. Now I wouldn't play a fighting game, but Generally speaking, fighting games, you want millisecond inputs. But if you're playing something a bit slower, like PC Builder Simulator, or even ESO, which we were playing on the main PC to test the performance feature, you could probably do that pretty easily. It also automatically does disconnect from your desktop when you're not using the app or when the app is closed, so you don't actually have to be worried about that connection staying open for too long. All in all, the main selling point is that streaming feature but the part that I am more excited about is the monitoring feature, the, the, the metrics, the, the on the second screen, the HUD for your GPU essentially excites me. It is honestly true innovation in this space. And I'm going to say this, NVIDIA, you don't have that yet. But that's just AMD Link. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video and me just kind of like exploring this software, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I do content on this channel like this every single week. Uh, we actually have a bunch of content coming. Uh, actually, later this week, we should be seeing some stuff around this PC uh, coming in for us and we'll be doing it later this week. And we've been doing a full deep dive on most of AMD's software. So get subscribed if you really wanna know the ins and outs of this and what each little cog does because we've been pulling it apart feature by feature. So thank you guys again, Wolfie out.